what's up? This is me, Talha Speedstar. And yes, uh, I w- we all were waiting for this day to welcome my friend Hadi Khurasani, aka Hadoshi. And uh, I was waiting for this podcast because obviously uh, this, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to talk a lot about cricket and uh, our experiences. And uh, welcome, Hadi, to my show, to my podcast. How are you? Hi, I'm good, Atala. How are you? I'm great. I'm Everything great. Is- I'm. Th- I think still you are. Uh, you're not at. Uh, you're not home, and uh, I think you are practicing somewhere, right? Yeah, I just came to the academy to practice, so that's why I'm doing the live podcast there. Ah, okay, okay. okay. How's things? Uh, how's things going? And how are you dealing with this situation? And how mentally tough it was for you to go through this uh, six-month lockdown and whatever it is. Ah, uh, six months lockdown. In the starting, it was tough, but then later on, I. I built up my own nets and on the roof of my house. I was yeah. practicing there daily mm. with the yeah, floodlights. I, yeah, I actually saw that, and I glad that your parents are allowing you to do that <laughs> because uh, eventually what happened? I don't know if there's someone living uh, living next to your house and get bothered. Uh, they the are nets. cricket fans as well, so they support. They don't have any problems. So mm. everybody was on on leave, so everybody was sleeping late. At times, they used to come and play with me as well. Ah, that's nice. I, so you're enjoying. So, what's up? Which what's is, what's up? Yeah, yeah. And uh, how long have you been in Doha? I think probably 15 years or 16, 14 years. 13 years in Doha now. 13 years in Doha. It's it's a lot of. Uh, I I I believe there is a lot of uh, memories in Doha cricket when it comes to Hadi Khurusani, The people around Doha. Memories, memories. Yes, a lot of memories are there. A lot of uh, things are there that's happened. That will happen, or you know, it's everywhere. I'm. It's all a cricket is all about messing up with people and the thinking and everything else. So it's not easy when you are a sportsman. It's not easy to survive just like a normal person. Yeah, and I believe that people who will who are going to watch us and who are watching us, uh, they will absolutely uh, reckon that uh, when it comes to Hadi, you will see him playing in Alsat Parking, you will see him playing in Stadium, you will see him playing in uh, Lucille, you will see him <laughs> playing on Terrace, you will see him playing in his room. Where where we cannot where we can find Hadi not playing cricket? Exactly, because cricket means a lot that much to me that you know. I, it it doesn't matter who I'm playing for. It's just mm. that I need to play that game anywhere possible. So you, what's, you would what's have seen you, even yeah. a short video of mine of 10 to 15 second video. I was playing on a road with a hardball team. I saw so, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. So what's up with you? Like I obviously we all are into cricket and we all have this cricket uh, passion. We go out of the box and. We always uh, do certain things like getting up six o'clock, five o'clock in the morning and going and playing cricket. We never do this when we are studying, right? So uh, this this cricket maybe we uh, don't love studying that much as much we love cricket. <laughs> that is actually true. I think true. it's that simple then. <laughs> yeah, actually that is true. That is true because uh, uh, we we all have a different memories. I have a, a good memories with you playing with you in uh, different different leagues and different tournaments. We played together in the college. Then we played some cricket in uh, domestic uh, for RCB, uh, Rahul Gandhi boys. So, ah. <laughs> so Hadi, tell me something that uh, people, uh, you, you play all kind of cricket, MRI, tape ball, uh, which you put uh, soft tennis ball, you put tape on it. Soft then you put ball uh, the tape, ta- yes. yeah, yeah, you put a hard, uh, on a hard tennis ball, on a soft tennis ball, you play, put the tape, then you play hard ball. For certain people, it is difficult to switch over because some some games are different, correct? Like you you have to be quick, you have to be different. The ball but how game do is you different, man- but ball game is different. But then um, at the end of the day, you're playing cricket. It's all about mm. hitting the ball with the bat or balling to a batsman and getting mm. him out. So I believe when you're playing cricket in all different ball game and mm. at different places, I guess you get used, you get adapted to the different situations. Because normally and, uh, people have told me that uh, people have told me there is one player uh, who is God gifted. So I be like, okay, God gifted is understood, but uh, uh, why why is he not there in upfront? You know, like if you are God gifted, if you are playing so much cricket, and if you uh, if you are into cricket so much, uh, people know you very well. Why Hadi is not in the in the scenario? 
so i come to know that uh, like i because i wanted to drag the story from all format like you play hardball you play mri you play softball then when you score century or you you when you score 50 then people say that uh, when you then you post on facebook instagram whatsoever it is alhamdulillah and i played this and i've done that so then then everybody asks you know the question is that Playing all three formats, getting recognized in all form of cricket, people call you to play tape ball, people call you to play MRI, people call you to play hard ball. But still, there is a barrier where you are not seen up front in, let's say, in a big domestic domestic league, 50 overs. Then you're not seen in the big leagues happening in Doha. So from tape ball to these big leagues, where, where is Hadi, what is Hadi thinking now? Uh, well, for now, I am thinking to continue the way I am continuing, actually. Because mm -hmm. what matters to me is that I'm working hard on myself. I'm performing. I'm doing good in my game, the sport I'm playing. I guess that makes me more happier than, than just, you know, why am I not coming on top of it? Maybe that's fake. But then working hard is the main thing. When you're working hard and you're not coming up and still you're... You're performing, you're satisfied. Mm. But you don't perform and you don't want, and then you just want to come up and play at the top, at the top level for the national team or anywhere domestic 50 overs or anywhere else. It doesn't matter then. But then mm. at the end of the day, it should be you versus you. It's not you versus anybody else who's playing in the national team, who's playing A division, who's playing B division or C division. Right? Okay. Yeah. So when you're, when you're working hard on yourself and you're performing, you know you're doing good and others are not taking you on behalf of that, that's completely... So, you, you you, know you don't, I, so basically, you don't care about pe what people think about you and what people, if they don't uh, select you in certain teams. Because see, my, my concern is that we all play big tournaments. Uh, we are good, talented cricketers. Everybody is playing good cricket. We are recognized. You are recognized. When I talk about you, you are recognized. But... Still, my question is that why you are not playing domestic cricket in Doha? And because we have spoken before also, why is it so tough to get into big domestic teams and performing? Because you are a big, a quick all-rounder. And still, I think there are people who want to see you in the upcoming leagues. But still, you find it difficult. Why do you find it so difficult? Uh, actually, I don't find it difficult. Mm -hmm. To be very honest to you, I don't find it difficult. It's just that I don't want to go and play that level of cricket because it's just one and one only reason that um, over there when you are playing, right? Okay, you play for your position, you play, you perform, you stay in the team. Mm. Th that scenario is understandable. But this scenario, I don't understand. You get half of your team from outside Doha, you pay them. Mm. And the local talent sits outside, gets you water. Mm. Or um, most of the people who are sitting outside are usually, usually, usually are locals mm -hmm. who have been playing here since local, childhood. Local, local, local. You mean to say that uh, Indian Pakistani the local boys who are who are studying Any here in local Doha, boys. who are born and brought up in here in Doha, correct? Exactly. Forget about me. I'm here since ten years. But people who have been playing here for 15, 20 years, what about them? Them being in the team and sitting outside just because you got some players from outside. And you're paying them. Why so do they we have, have this culture? Play. Why do we have this culture? Uh, this culture is there. I have no idea literally about it. But then to be honest, what I feel is just because you want to get a fame because I am paying a real huge amount of money, I should win. And for because I have a huge amount of money in my pocket so I can get players and play from outside and the QCA or the association is uh, supporting it. Rather than supporting the local boys who have been playing here since childhood, hmm. they are not coming up. So when I, uh, because I have, I, I have also seen this, that locals have been not neglected, but not given that much importance. Like for example, if there is a Ramadan tournament coming up, straight away, the big teams will go and uh, they will get some big players from uh, Sri Lanka or Pakistan or India. But about that's what when, I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, when, when that's, see, that's why Qatar cricket is not going up. So you think that's that why the, Qatar cricket is not going up? So you think Getting that the players, boys you have to? Sorry, you mean to say that uh, if locals are not given chance, the cricket in Qatar is not in improving or not developing? Yes, obviously. 
How many players are you going to get from outside and then they have to wait for three, four years just for the time for finish to so that they can show in ICC that, oh, they are staying here for this many years. Now they are playing. So, like, like I have spoken to a few guys and like my friends, we all have friends, you know, we speak, we, when we are doing Nets practice and we, we always speak to each other. So, everybody has said that, like, there are a couple of guys whom, who I come across and I've spoken openly about why locals are not getting chance. So, they say that locals are not giving interest too much about, uh, they, only, uh, they are not giving interest to uh, proper quality cricket. And uh, they always have uh, the issue that uh, the fitness issue and they have the issue, uh, match okay. winning issue, if match winning power is not to... there. Right. Match winning power comes when you give trials, man. Because, because How see, many teams like, are I'll, I'll tell you something. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you You've something. They, they're, they're more okay. concern is... The thing is, hmm. the thing is, look, the thing is, when you're playing, uh, when you have 90 teams, 80 teams in Qatar, how can you say that they are not fit? They have been playing 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 over cricket, 25 over cricket, 35 over cricket. Mm. And you are saying they are not fit in this heat. I believe if you bring any international player in this heat and you want mm. them to play a 50 over so match, I don't say, believe... So you mean to say that, uh, yeah, so your, your uh, context is that if you give locals chance, which I reckon... I also support this, that if you give a local chance, if you give them a couple of season or maybe let's say you say, Talha, you have seven matches here. We give you one down or open or two down or three down position. You have seven matches. You do whatever you want. But if you don't score, if you don't give us the uh, uh, performance, we are not going to give you the chance next time. That is a fair, that is, that is a fair competition, right? Look, Whereas, matches, look, 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 look. Matches and giving trials are two different things, hmm. right? Hmm. Telling you, taking out, taking you out from the bed and telling you go play seven matches, score seven hundreds, or you're not playing. Hmm. Right. It, hmm. do, it that doesn't uh, it doesn't count as uh, performing. Like you telling us somebody grabbing the collar and telling them to perform is not something that you want. So what what do you, you think? What should what should be done? Yeah. What what should there be are, done? There are eighty teams in Qatar, I believe, hmm. including A, B, C, three hmm. divisions. Hmm. How can you say there is no fitness? How can you say there is no talent? How can you say there is no performance? In a T20 match, last year, I believe they were five to six hundreds in a T20 match in B division or C division. Hmm. How many hundreds do you get a year in a year from A division? Around six or seven or five, four or five. Right. Hmm. So in C division... In, Separate or a B division separate. When you're getting this many centuries as equal to a A division, then why shouldn't B or C should be given a chance to play? And they so, are here for see, more. There, I've so seen yeah, teams. I've seen many teams. I've seen many teams. Right. I've played A division. I've played B division. I've played C division. Now it I'm is Premier talking. A B C. It's Premier yeah, A B C. Exactly. Now A is not there now because hmm. there were not enough teams to play against each other. So okay. it's only Premier B and C. Okay. Right. Because all those teams have also come down to B division. Hmm. So basically what I'm trying to say is trial should be given to each and everybody equally. But Adi, there, is, there is something. Here, okay. I would like to make one point here. The association has a, a valid, uh, a valid uh, criteria to go and play in premier for teams. Like for example, you say that a, the teams from A divisions have been put down to B and C. Because they are not playing to, against each other. There is no enough teams. Okay, fine. We understand. So, the association has a best policy that you perform from B, C, uh, C, B, A and go up the order. What do you think? This is, this going, is a fair enough. Going, this, going up the order, understandable. But there should be a place to play, right? In a team. So, you mean to say the, the teams in domestic cricket are not giving a proper chance to... They are not fair with the young talents? You mean to say? Until unless if it's uh, until unless if it's you know like you need to get a proper chance. One match you perform, next match you don't. You are sitting outside. That is true. Uh, that is true. Yeah. So so what you know do you what think? I mean? What should be done? The local boys, like for example, if uh, for example, if you have to select new people for a national team player or something for a national team, for example, mm. make two or three teams where people are performing down in B division, mm. C division. Mm. You. You get them play. You get them to play in that those two or three Premier Division teams. Okay. Make a team out of them and mm. let them play, rather so who's, than who's having. Whose responsibility is this? 
that's cricket associations who's making the so, national team by calling people at the nets and telling that there are no trials you are the people who are going so you mean to say there should be a backup team kept for that not a backup team you should, mm-hmm. when somebody is playing with for example a national ah, team okay. is going right mm-hmm. national team should be a separate team mm-hmm. and then you should have an, another team that is playing with them to merge together when they are going as a national team okay so you okay so, so now if seniors in the team is a benefit because mm-hmm. they have more experience mm-hmm. but then at the end of the day that's what it matters right it's mm-hmm. not about people who have been playing 300 international matches is the best it's not necessary so so for in example this, some, to... somebody who is who's grooming now for somebody mm. who is grooming now you cannot compare that person to a person who has played 300 matches mm. so see Maybe my 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 understanding to this my understanding to this is that uh, what i feel from you what 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 you are trying to say is that a player who is coming from cba to the premier or any player who is emerging player or who wants to perform good at premier level needs to give needs to be given a fair amount of chance to perform and to get to the national level correct yes obviously which which the teams are not doing it but whose for fault example, is this is it example, is it don't, is it the is it the clubs who are who are handling or is it the uh, whose duty is to to look in take this into the consideration look, because the club okay wait listen let, let me tell let me clarify one thing that the clubs will say that we don't for example if the association goes and uh, says this to a uh, club any club you know xyz club that okay look we have this young budding talent talha we want this player to be uh, played in the team so how do you think that it can be given a fair chance when they have already they, when they have that old old team talha uh, look what matter it's not club's responsibility to bring you up for a national team it's mm. association that's what i said association should have at least two teams in premier mm. right the top eight batsmen top eight bowlers of b and c division every year mm. right they should come and give trials for that for those two teams that qca okay. makes i hope that i hope people uh, so people from association could reckon this famous cricketer who is uh, who is uh, putting the record <laughs> <laughs> uh, no you they won't hopefully because uh, see this is all about uh, playing good cricket and i i believe that this thing should be taken into consideration that uh, the fair amount of chance should be given to all the players whereas everybody is getting victimized that uh, they don't get enough amount of matches one match you play another Look, match Tala, is out i don't say Look, Tala. I don't say whoever scores a century in C division, take them to directly to national team. Hmm. I don't say that. What I'm trying to tell you here is, if they are performing, if they are the highest run getter, if they are the highest wicket takers, if hmm. they are one of the best wicket t- keepers, give them a chance in Premier. Make a team out of them. Give them a chance. Who doesn't perform in a season? That are two hmm. tournaments. Hmm. Okay, tell them to go play. another b or c division come back next year rather than they are playing all their life here scoring but centuries even, scoring but centuries. even they i even it come if even we have come across by saying people are not interested to play premier even if they are scoring some tons of runs in b and c what's what's over it is why why is look, it so that they are not interested why, look 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 okay why is that because they are getting more chances in b and c division than playing premier it's all get, it's, it's all about for, getting matches but first of all first of all look when when it comes to playing everybody and and then playing once a week that is only a friday hmm. and that also comes after two to three weeks of break <laughs> which you also know <laughs> and then you don't so get to play yes you don't get to play much uh, like Plus it's you're, exactly you're it's a serious thing from 5 o'clock in the morning yeah. you're ruining your sleep from 5 o'clock in the morning you come to the ground and you're sitting there till 5 in the evening and you're and not playing you're not playing yeah and there's so, someone else who's who's been who's been replaced by you for that than playing every friday the somebody is somebody else is uh, replaced you and uh, then you realize that that person is not fit and the reason which you get is that no we have uh, fitness you have fitness issues but the guy who's playing inside even he is not fit 
uh, if you talk about fitness, let's not talk about fitness. <laughs> That's Half of Qatar actually. is not fit. Who is playing yeah. cricket? According to Mr. Khurasani, Mr. Hadi, Hadoshi, half of Qatar cricketers are not fit. So, guys, uh, this is an open challenge. Wherever you're playing, uh, okay, record your video of doing fitness training. And no, it's Hadi. not about fitness training. You start running from one corner, hmm. right? And you stop at the other end. That's not fitness. Hmm. Right? What, what, I won't what, name, what do you I, 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 I wouldn't name people. Right? But, I wouldn't name people. I'll just talk about a previous Friday. Okay. Right. It's not about how you run 100 meters in 10 seconds. That's not fitness. Mm. Right. When you're playing, mm. you play properly. That's mm. fitness. Mm. The whole game is about fitness. It's not about how you run three runs and then you cannot run the next ball because you ran three in this heat. is not fitness. Mm. True. Fit, right. And... A 20-year-old and a 40-year-old person cannot be equally fit. True. Even the 20-year-old doesn't do a gym or an exercise, blah, 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 whatsoever, which people nowadays are doing uh, since the corona. You know, Instagram heroes. <laughs> so that, Instagram, uh, heroes. Uh, Instagram heroes or gym heroes and all that stuff. Throwing st uh, stretch bands and uh, cycling everywhere. Yeah. So that's not fitness. Look, me being honest, I, I never did gym. Okay. I've never what's, done what's the, what's the ingredient of you being a fit? I don't know if you're fit or not because uh, I'm doing most of the day. Okay, let's when let's uh, okay. I I will tell something that um, with regards to the selection of young players and the, giving chance to the local body, local cricketers, uh, it's all up to the every like for example association and the clubs whatsoever it is. But I want to uh, I want to point out one good thing that Hadi. Uh, what is the what is the uh, re remedy of your fitness? You ball, you bat, you do wicket keeping, you do fielding, you do umpiring. You want to do everything. Why is it so that Hadi wants to do everything? Because this because is that's totally the that I, I have to. I I had I had this experience in the college. So yeah, I can I can say that you want to do everything. Why you don't trust your teammates? <laughs> no, I trust people. It's not about I don't trust people. Obviously, if they are in my team, I trust them more than anything anybody else who's sitting outside. Because the okay. cricket is not played by one person. You okay. win it by the team. It's a team game. So, but then so why, the is it, the day, why is it that you have to do everything? So first, you ball first to over, like when, first spell, when I then see, you come. Because hmm. when I see other people not giving 100%, that's what I don't like. So you mean to say everybody should be giving hundred percent in the game? Yes. It's and not have you come? Have you come across any player in? Have you come across any player in few like couple of years who is giving hundred percent and you're satisfied? Well, if if you're talking about hundred percent, I don't know about hundred percent, but they are giving maximum of what they are capable of. Yeah, exactly. Like, see, everybody is not. So it's not ad, about hundred percent. Look, my hundred percent is different. Your hundred percent would be different. True, Somebody true. else's hundred percent would be different. Yeah. Everybody doesn't. Every everybody's body doesn't work the same way. Hmm. Maybe so, um, more, maybe people more should come and person can run faster than me. You never know. Yeah, that is actually true. But um, I have I have come across him. Uh, this guy doing wicket keeping, umpiring, bowling, batting, everything. Tell me one thing. Why do you think every ball when it is ball on the seventh stump or fifth stump or sixth stump, it is wide when you're batting? Why do you cry for it? People say that you cry a lot when it is when it is give, not given white when you're batting and when you're bowling it should not be given no ball or white. Why? A no ball, I don't know because no ball is a very rare case for me. I'm telling you yeah. even now. No ball because is you a run very with the rare ten case. steps. I I literally run with a very small or a short run up, and it's a very rare case somebody gives a no ball. And so why why do you have to why do you have to fight? Giving a giving a wide or an out on when I'm batting, that's my childhood uh, habit. You cannot change that. <laughs> so no one, no one, no one can get rid of it. If you ball, if you're yeah. balling to Hadi, you you ball onto the stumps. Please you don't ball get me far. out. Yeah, yeah if I you, don't like that. Me getting out on under ten runs. Yeah, I need to true. do something. Okay, tell me, no, tell me one bad. thing. Yeah. I, I want to know, it's, okay. it's a serious question. Mm. I want to know, be very honest, okay? Be very honest that how many bats do you have? In your in your cupboard, um, exact I played, number I want. Plenty, 
exact no, no, numbers plenty. I don't want to talk about. But I have plenty of bats that I guess I believe that six or seven teams can have a bat each. Oh, oh. each. Yeah. So how many how many bats are you giving me as a gift, as a brother? Uh, I, I, as a brother, I gave you already two. If you don't no, remember. No, you did not. You took it back from me. <laughs> ah, you Because left my team. That's why. You know, maybe that is the criteria of uh, getting bad that is actually true but uh, tell me tell me something that um, you have played a cr- cricket in college you have been rewarded as a athlete of the year uh, in college we have lot of tournaments uh, you know strong student competition then indoor cricket then lots of thing happened what are the best memories of college you had and how does it feel to be an athlete of the year when you were graduating uh, when i was graduating uh, well being an athlete of the year is not the first time for me to be honest hmm. attitude Because adjustment i've been okay. into no 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 not attitude it's not it's just that it's not the first time okay. um like okay the thing is but being the first one when selecting for the first time as a athlete of the year in the university hmm. obviously it's a big achievement no matter who i was uh, competing against hmm. uh i feel proud that i'm the first one in the university hmm. i've been uh, twice in my uh, high school and back in pakistan hmm. so sports to me has a different space in my heart somewhere it's a different thing to me in which hmm. i can show others that i am capable of doing what i know or i'm not saying i am the best at it mm. but in that i can show the people that yes i am capable of doing things what people think that i am not able to so it's right. the, it's all about believing in your, believing yourself and keeping yourself mentally fit for for all the circumstances all the challenges right? all the competition that comes yes sports okay maybe i don't play basketball every day like cricket yeah but yeah. i still go for it why because you that's you, in, you that's, get to that's, do something yeah that's you get how to do we something. are Correct. I am not able to sit in a place for more than half an hour maybe that's all I'm talking about exactly Maxine. I can I can I can bet on that you can't keep this guy sit for so long okay tell me something that uh, you have play you play a lot of cricket like we say you have graduated from college you work you do a lot of things over the years how was the support of your parents because you have come through a very hardship that i know personally that we are not going to talk about it here but your dad your mom your family everybody is uh, always supporting you what is what is all about mr khorasan uh, well first of all i would like to thank my dad first of all to no, go with go with bismillah of man rahim he, thanks to almighty allah no, 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 no. thanks to thanks to him that uh, i from the, for the support that he gives even though he's not from a sports background he's not he's not a cricket lover he's always nothing at all still still he's there supporting me for to play at, even at this age that is okay i do get some good. he I, i do get some taunts whenever i'm leaving and opening the door of my house going for a match ah, again you have a match today but then he okay, never stops me, the, okay uh, stop let's be let's be very honest that uh did you get any serious uh, lectures from your parents or a shouting that how much are you going to play cricket what is this you're not home because i i have come to your place i know how your parents are they are very nice people and they have always been uh, they they are, they have a good hospitality you know when we go i haven't had barbecue with you yet i have seen lot of stories uh, inshallah like my friend <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, did you come across any any scenario in your life where your parents are not supporting to you well it's not about not supporting they have always been supportive to me mm. that's why i have all those bats in my shelf <laughs> exactly i was about to ask you that <laughs> that's why i have those bats in the shelf and soon i'm getting one more oh so so i i need to contact mr faridun <laughs> yeah Whoever wants a bat, please contact him directly. Don't ask me for bats. Thank you. I can I can tell him that I can tell him that please sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. So basically, he's been very supportive. My mom is more interested than my dad for uh, knowing what I do in my matches. Mm. And um, the financial part, it's my father's uh, 
hardship that's, that's that it comes true. to this shelf is fully completed and now uh, now my yeah now my uh, wardrobe for my clothes are getting filled with bats hmm. so yeah he's been always supportive he doesn't takes interest in what i do because he doesn't hmm. have that cricketing uh, sense like he doesn't hmm. know what okay what he knows about cricket is a batsman is there a bowler is there hmm. and that's cricket for him so not yeah so not having that cricketing sense by playing and by being uh, by uh, being more interested in it is a mm. different thing so at the end of the day i do thank both of my parents mm. for showing that support whether they come for the matches whether they don't come for the matches parents are always important. important parents yeah, support is always you know, important it's it has always been them because of whom you know today i have this many bats or whatsoever it is no matter uh, at times he is um, strict towards me playing that much of cricket i i do i which don't usually, i don't believe you in this because that which, which, person which is usually every time which is usually yeah. every time i open the door they'll be like ah another match today or another mm. practice today because mm. uh, i'm coming to nets literally daily mm. especially uh, after corona mm-hmm. um i'm practicing really hard because d- during those times i was not able to play proper proper cricket so playing at home and playing on a net or playing at a ground is a different scenario. Hmm. So I did face few difficulties after uh, the quarantine period like the isolation or whatever you call it. New words, you know, so after hmm. corona new words are coming up. <laughs> so okay, like uh, those days it was difficult hmm. to come so, back to normal. So uh, we wish good luck to your good luck to you for coming matches and thank you for your parents for allowing you and giving us uh, giving us such a good cricketer who has been around Doha all the time for any parking lot you will see Hadi any time you will see Hadi playing cricket and <laughs> thank you for allowing him and uh, making him such a good cricketer okay before we close we, before we go, uh, close this chapter before we are done with this podcast i have one last question i have few rapid fire question for you um sure. one last question is that now we are going to start the season so what's your goal for the next season or maybe next 6 months how are you going to do the, what's uh, your for the now? upcoming season uh well actually we are in the middle of a tournament that was hmm. stopped la- uh, the same today, this year hmm. so we are left with two another matches if we win both of them we are in the quarter finals and once we are in the quarter finals a division we are coming okay that's perfect so all right so i teams, uh will qualify for playing a division the quarter finals okay finals. all right all right so i hope that um, you get selected and i wish you all the best for your upcoming so, matches and uh, may may you win or games and you hopefully. showcase your talent Inshallah. and my 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 only request to you is that avoid like you do but my my only request to you is avoid uh, people who criticize you and hope i i hope to see yes, you in premier the division the more you are criticized the more you are criticized right yeah the more successful you are that's true that's this, that's right. the that's and the i love people who criticizes me because i love taking challenge i i will and i will I hope to see you i will hope to see you soon in premier division you bowling me and sure. me batting like four years back no i won't <laughs> I, i wouldn't like to bowl at you man sorry <laughs> I cannot okay. take another duck, another duck out for you, ma'am. That's okay. That's that's the that's the year. That's the best year you have ever gone through. Uh, I don't so mind getting. That was the best match, I would say, <laughs> defending a yeah. 133 in a 50-over game. That's Not you know so cricket. Bad. That's cricket for you, buddy. All right. Yep. So let's let's move on to the rapid fire <laughs> question, the last segment of the show. Sure. All right. You have to be you have to be very quick, and you don't take time. I ask you a question, you reply it back. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right the first question is if you go if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go and why Uh I would go I would have at least two different options one would be back back to Pakistan or mm-hmm. one would be any other cricketing nation where I can play cricket Okay what is your dream job Uh playing cricket as as a, as a professional Okay or May- being a pilot which now i cannot oh. be sorry <laughs> <laughs> are you a morning person or a night person depends on when what time is the match 
<laughs> so you are you are totally into cricket and you have a cricket priority yeah, uh, what yeah, is yeah. what is your favorite hobby that is not a question right now it's uh, uh, i'm sorry is that, that is not a question yeah uh, what is playing cricket uh, <laughs> what is the one thing that annoys you the most sorry what is the one thing that annoys annoy you annoy you the most uh when i go for a match and people are not playing properly okay expected what is the strangest thing you have ever eaten eaten yeah uh octopus seafood are you serious yeah okay what is your favorite thing about someone Why in your you family my friend was right in front of you <laughs> i don't remember okay what is your favorite thing uh, about what, someone in your family my favorite thing in my family about my family uh they show they are very strict towards me they they show that they will um, stop me from doing things which they say but at the end of the day i'm still doing okay uh, so what they, what is okay describe yourself in three words uh three words three words are very less for me well when it comes to three words well um energetic one uh very answerable two very frank three all so, right yeah. okay if you could trade lives with anyone for a day what would it be and why uh i trade lives with somebody um i would trade life with shoaib akhtar and why is that so to be a fastest bowler in the world yeah just okay. to see how does it feel to bowl 160 clicks <laughs> okay one well, la- last question if you could talk in your sleep what would you do what would you say uh um what would i say i'm selected white ball for my uh, white ball kyu diya yaar no ball bhi nahi tha yaar so um in my sleep at least in my sleep i would say yes i'm selected to play for pakistan national team inshallah all right thank you so much hadi for giving your time 